GGRC. Hey everybody, and welcome to another episode of GGRC. I'm RC, and today we're going to be checking out a pretty fun little game called Super Efficient Golf. Or, I'm sorry, this isn't efficient at all, super inefficient golf. Uh, I believe this game came out uh, at some point last year. This is just a, a, a fun, quick, palate cleansing little, like, $5 game. Uh, I, I've, I've been having quite a bit of fun with it. I've only been playing it about an hour, but it's, it's one of those games that just is, like, a fun game to come back to and play a few holes of every now and then. Um, so what you're doing here is you have a course, you have a ball, a gigantic ball, and you're strapping bombs to it to get it to the hole. And it's pretty great. Um, so you basically have, uh, at the bottom you see one, two, three, and four. Um, all of the bombs actually do the same amount of, uh, they, they have the same amount of explosion. They'll, they'll launch the ball at the same amount. So, for example, you know, if we put a green one here and we start, at any point you hit one and that launches the ball. So let's restart here. However, if we put a one here, and then a two here, and then a three there, and a four here. We can do some kind of really weird, complicated thing. So let's go ahead and start this. So let's hit one, two, three, you'll send it back down, and four will bounce it up there. So as you can see, you could set up all kinds of different crazy combos and whatnot. Obviously, this hole that we're on right now, not super complicated. We could pretty much just use, you know, Probably, maybe not even three. We could probably just use two green ones and maybe make it over there. I don't know. We'll throw two on there just to be safe. And here we go. I don't think we're going to need the two. Unfortunately, you can see that the physics still affect the ball, though, if you don't use the two. But there we go. We got a hole in one. Obviously, the easiest hole in the game. Not really... <laughs> Not really much to, to get done there. Now, the, the holes get crazy as they go on. Um, I've only made it to hole 9 here. I've done half of the first uh, 18 that are in the game. Uh, let's see. Let's jump to another one that's just a little bit crazier. Actually, hole 9 was pretty fun. I managed to get a hole in 1 on this one. I don't know how I did it. But as you can see, there's the, the hole. You have a whole bunch of barrels with explosives here. Fans. And then you got to try to figure out how the hell you're going get, to get over there. Uh, all I did, one, two, three, four, I strapped four bombs to the back of this thing and started. So let's do it. Let's see if we can make it again. The fan keeps us going over. And... Oh, there we go. There's your hole in one. There you go. If you guys need to know how to do hole nine, it's a pretty simple one. That one I got. Uh, but some of the holes before that are a little bit more complicated. You got ones that have uh, curbs around them, walls blocking you. Uh, honestly, the, the hardest one I played so far was probably hole 8. Uh, I only got 400 score on that. But we're going to actually move on to hole 10 here. So let's play something completely new, something I haven't even tried yet. All right, so we got a hole that's up there. Okay, yeah, so you can see things are getting much more complex already. So, it looks like we need to actually go under, but what's kind of funny about this game is that uh, if you so choose, I mean, you could you could try to find your own route around. So, like, if we pack a bunch of bombs there, we could experiment and just see how this would launch the ball up. And we are, as long as it stops rolling, stop rolling. Stop. Uh, is it going to stop? Okay, it did stop. We, we made it out of the green of that part. So what's going to be the hard part is actually getting it over <laughs> that thing onto the hole. So let's see if we can actually do this or not. One, two, three. We'll do three yellow ones and just see what happens here. No, we were denied. We got denied. We need to go slightly higher. We might fall off this time. We're going to fall off? We're okay. So we have a par 4 on this one. We still have two shots to go. If we can get over this thing, we're still still doing pretty okay. Let's try about there. We went 3 or 4. Let's go 4 just to see what happens. Ooh, that might have been too much. Might have been way too much. Uh, sand trap? Yeah, we're... Nope, nope. We're, we're falling into the water. There we go. Blunk. 
Nope, no plunk. No plunk in the water. So the, that's kind of the, uh, some of the things in this game that I'm not the biggest fan of. Uh, as, as easy as it is to control and do a lot of the different things in this game, like apply bombs and everything like that, this game needs uh, just another another coat of polish on it for certain little things. Um, it's easy to forget what your controls are uh, for the ball when you have all the bombs on it and things are going crazy and everything. It would, it would be really nice if they actually, you know, kept the menu that you have here in the middle on screen while you were playing. Uh, I would find that to be pretty helpful, personally. We're just going to try three bombs this time. I think we did four last time, right? Uh, we're making it over. But we're going to hit the fan. Uh, this is not where we want to be. It's a tough hole. It's a very, very tough hole. So some of these you play, you are going to get into where you're just going to be like, man, it's going to take me ten shots to get through this and, you know, so be it. Uh, that's one of the other things I really wish that they, this game had in it. Uh, oh, now I'm just shooting over. You guys ever go putt-putt? You know, play miniature golf? And you, you, you're at the, the putting part of it where you got to get it in the hole and you just keep going back and forth, back and forth around the hole. That's what I feel like I do in this game a bit. <laughs> I've never been a, a great putt-putt player, though, so there's that. I think we may have made it on. Um, but yeah, one of the other things I really wish that this game had was I wish that it had like some sort of a measure of distance because if you play, you know, any of the Mario golfs, you know, Tiger Woods golfs, you know, from from the past, there's always a uh, indicator that uh, indicator that would show you how far the ball is going to go, where it might land if you do this, you know. Um, I don't know how complicated that would be to add for a game like this, but I feel like the game desperately needs it. Oh my god, I got robbed on that. Do you see that? Totally robbed. Get in there. Oh my god. Terrible. Triple bogey. I still got an okay score though. Better than I got a whole 8 with that 400. Yikes. <laughs> and these are only the first set of holes. Uh, for this game, there's actually two sets. So you got uh, World 2 that also has... Uh, 18 holes in it. So there's only two worlds, but like I said, it's a $5 game. It might be one of those games where uh, they're currently working on a third world for it. That I don't know. Uh, for, fi for five bucks, it seems like there's plenty of content in here. Um, I kind of want to check out... Let's check out the first hole of World 2 here. So I'm just curious what, what ends up happening after you finish World 1. Oh man, you got all kinds of crazy loops. So the the other thing that I find interesting about this game too is like how you f how are you supposed to actually plan when you use your bombs because if your ball starts rolling and you're planning for it to like bounce off of this red thing and then hopefully uh, use another bomb to like propel yourself the other way it's gonna be really hard if your ball is spinning really fast to actually use the bomb at the right time to propel. Um, but how however I do think that there is a slow motion. Uh, yeah, it's uh, right mouse button here. So if we do that, let's try it out. Let's see what happens. Yeah, see, it does slow down. So you can wait until the ball spins a certain way. Oh, there we go. We got the bounce. See, up here, this is where we need to use the second bomb right here. Because I knew that was going to be a bounce pad. And now we're kind of stuck here. <laughs> Which sucks. So let's restart this again. So we know we got to try, let's do one, two, three, four reds, and then we're going to do, once it spins, I'm assuming it would be on this side. So we want them to be kind of there, I guess. Let's give that a shot. Let's just see what happens. Oh, that didn't work at all. All right, one more time. Try this again. Boom. All right, we got the slow motion. Wait for it to line up. See, look, right here. There it is. Oh, and we smashed a wall. Oh, no! I didn't know that was going to happen. I had the whole plan. I had the whole thing worked out perfectly, too. Oh, that just... <laughs> It kind of ruins my day. Got to be honest. All right. 
one, two, three, four. That worked out really well, so let's just do one bomb this time instead of two. And let's see if that works. Okay, we're up. Oh wait, actually I think we got ourselves up without any help. Don't fall. Don't fa don't you dare fall. I can't see. I can't see what's happening. Oh my god, I just boosted myself off of there. <laughs> so now you guys can see what I was talking about earlier. Uh, you know, where I was saying that this game is casual, but there, there's there's a little bit of depth to it. it it's there's, there's depth to it, but there's also that, that driving part of it that could be like, man, I could see how this could get really frustrating if you're playing the same hole for a while and it's just like not, not working out. Oh, jeez. Yeah, it's not working out either. Let's just restart this hole. We gotta get this one before we go. Just want one on that side. Okay, we're up. Actually, we might be okay now. It probably won't roll. Look at that, there we go. We finally got it. See, it just takes a few tries. Don't get frustrated. Just keep trying. All right, that's world two, hole one. Let's jump into one more. Let's get into one that's like super crazy here. Let's try hole seven. We'll see if we, if we can even get through this. I don't know what's gonna happen. Yeah, look at all these barrels. <laughs> I have no idea if this is gonna work out for me. Okay. Um, one of the other things too, and I, I don't know if this is actually something you could do, but I would like if there was a way for you, not not only if you could measure the ball, but if there's a way to detach from the ball and float around the level to kind of look at what's coming up, because this level is complicated. Like, look how many areas there are to go. And at this point, I can see that the flag is back there. You can see the green outline of it way over there. But I, I don't know if there's solid ground up there above me or what. Uh, perhaps that's in the controls as well. Place and detonate, slow motion. Jump or change mode. Turn camera, zoom camera. Let's see. It says there's something called eagle eye. There we go. That's exactly what I was looking for. So eagle eye is, it's not exactly what I want, but it, it does help. So we know that there's a sand trap over there. So we need to either, you know, putt past all of that stuff. Or get into the sand trap. I don't know. Let's just go for it here. Let's see what happens. I'm also going to put a bunch of those because why not? All right. Boom. Okay. We could ricochet off of this. And we're still looking pretty okay. Nice. So now at this point, we want to delete those because we don't need those right now and at this point I think we can just we could do something real graceful here I think we'll just uh, hit, hit it along the, the ground here to get around these and we'll just shoot the next few into the middle here and hope for the best let's see what we can do Okay, looking okay, we're looking okay. So there's the, don't, okay, stop, 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 stop. We need, some, we need a break on the golf ball. All right, so this time we really need to kind of ramp it in there. So we're gonna just power, power it in. I'm gonna hope that the uh, half pipe here will lead us to the hole. Keep going, nudge over, come on. Let me guess, we're going to need one more little hit to get it in there, aren't we? Come on, roll. There it is. That's satisfying. And we got a par shot on that. First try. Guys, <laughs> this might be the new game for me. You might, you guys might watch me play Quake a lot. The super <laughs> inefficient golf might be the new one to play. Uh, 
you know might show up on the the, the channel here a lot more uh, but regardless that's super inefficient golf I think it's a really fun game like I said for five bucks um, I played much worse games than this and this is offering like a lot of silliness uh, a little bit of frustration a little bit of depth I still think that they uh, should add maybe like another set of holes and a little bit more polish on it like just a just a tad more but for what it is for a five dollar game this is a lot of fun and uh, I like I said the past you know, hour and a half that I've been playing it, I, I think that it's uh, definitely worth the money for sure. Uh, but GG, everybody. I'll see you all next time. GGRC.